Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessed, good day. Whenever you're able to look at this video or play this audio, I am grateful to come your way once more on another SPH Love Notes Daily Devotional Sunday morning message. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, I know some of you who normally get the dailies on WhatsApp may not have heard from me for a couple of times. I know last Sunday I didn't send out a WhatsApp. And that's because I was on Facebook. I was doing a Facebook Live on Sunday, and I also did one on Thursday. Praise the Lord. I know some of you on WhatsApp are not able to open the Facebook links. You're not um, accessible on Facebook. But I have tried to record the messages on YouTube so I can share it with you on WhatsApp. However, on a couple of occasions, I wasn't able to make the simultaneous recording as I had planned. It's a little bit of a technology that I have not mastered as yet. But I am working on it, and by God's grace, I know that I will be able to do this thing in a much more... Um, a professional manner but so far so good I just want to assure you that I am still doing what God has placed on my heart to do and by his grace praise the Lord by his grace I am still enjoying it and I am still being blessed and I know that those of you who are receiving it that you are also being blessed. I know some of you have questioned, you have sent messages to ask what is happening and so on. But to God be the glory because he's still doing great things. Hallelujah. Um, just to give you a brief um, idea as to what I have been doing, last Sunday on the live that I did on Facebook, I spoke about the most important decision that anyone can make, and that decision is to follow Jesus. Yes, that is the most important decision. And on Thursday, I did um, a live on the issue of us being able to um, read and understand the word of God. I spoke about the foundational um, aspect of reading. I spoke about the fact that God is a literate God because he gave us the Bible. He wrote his commandments on the tablets which he gave to Moses. He wrote them himself and gave them to Moses to give to the children of Israel because God does not just depend on word of mouth. And he knows that we are not perfect to be able to, to, to always have um, the right memory. And we are not always going to be there to share it by word of mouth. So I used a couple of different examples where God told different prophets um, to write it in a book. Like he told to um, Hosea, he told to... Um, Jeremiah, yes, and all the, the apostles who have written their, their, their accounts of the ministry they shared with Jesus and the ministry that they did after Jesus was ascended back to heaven. They have all written. That is how we come to have the Holy Bible. And if God did not expect us to be able to read, he was not going to give us a book. So that was the gist of my live on on um, Friday, was it Friday? Yes, two days ago. That was um, the one that I did uh, most recently. So yes, I have been busy. I have not abandoned by any means. 
um, and I don't want to leave out my WhatsApp friends, my WhatsApp contacts, even though you may not be able to access the Facebook. I still want to keep you up to date and in the loop with what I'm doing. So I will try to get this video sent to you by God's grace. Um, today, Sunday, the 12th of June, first of all, I want to send but the blessings to my second brother who is celebrating his birthday today. May God bless you and continue to keep you. Yes, I know you've had your challenges and you're still going through, but I pray that by the grace of God, you will make that commitment to follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. That is the most important decision that you can ever make. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And today, as I continue on the, th the train of thought of following Jesus, yes, that is the most important decision that I have made in my life. And I am intending, by the grace of God, to continue following him. And I just want to say that you don't have to be perfect to follow Jesus. When Jesus picked his disciples when he started his earthly ministry, the guys that he, he picked, they were not perfect. And we have the example of Peter. Peter was one of the most zealous followers of Jesus. But Peter slipped and stumbled a couple of times. It's recorded right there in the Bible. Peter um, lost faith when Jesus asked him to come and walk on the water with him and he began to sink. He had to cry out and Jesus saved him. The other time was when he was um, asked if he knew Jesus when Jesus was arrested and all the soldiers who were there to, um, to, to take Jesus to be crucified and all of that to be tried. He did deny that he knew him because he was scared, he was frightened, he was frustrated. All of these things happen to us as human beings. We sometimes um, lose our focus, we lose our strength, our faith may fail and all these things. But all of that, through all of that, we can still follow Jesus because where there is a will, there's a way, and God knows our heart, he will strengthen us. Today, I want us to look at the passage of scriptures from the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 9, and we can read from verse, verse 57, but I want to focus on the scripture, the verse 62, verse 62, Luke 9, 62 where Jesus said, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service, for service in the kingdom of God. And that is basically very clear. If you're going to follow Jesus, if you're going to be in his service, you make up your mind to do it. And turning back is not an option. Turning back is not on an option. We know that little Sunday school chorus that says, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. And that is the spirit that we have to have. Even though you may slip, even though you may stumble, you have, this, you have to decide to get up, brush yourself off, and keep going. There is no turning back. Turning back is not an option. When you have decided to follow Jesus, you simply follow regardless of what you could lose, regardless of what the cost may be, 
regardless of how much you may have to struggle, regardless of what people may say, regardless of what temptations may come your way, you have decided to follow Jesus and you keep following by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. He will give you the strength. He will help you. He will help you as long as you have made that decision, as long as you have that determination. He will help you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, they spent about, what, 40 years? The Bible told us they were 40 years in the wilderness. We have not seen where they ever went back or tried to go back. Going back was not an option. You may have decided to follow Jesus, but you are still lingering and struggling and wasting time wasting time in the wilderness my friend if you're in that position if you find yourself in that position i pray that today will be the last day that you spend your time idly going around in circles letting things distract you letting friends or family members or business colleagues or whosoever influence you to stay in the wilderness with them you need to make up your mind to keep on that journey keep going towards that promised land do not allow anything or anyone to hold you back in that wilderness and you cannot go back there is no turning back. There is nothing to go back to. You're going back to slavery. You're going back into bondage. You're going back into allowing um, people to take advantage of you. You're going back into being lost. You're going back into where you don't have a voice. You're going back into where you have no liberty. No, you can't do that. Keep moving forward. God will help you as long as you are determined to keep following him. Praise the Lord. So that is the little message I have for you today. May God continue to bless and keep you. I thank you for your patience in listening and for sharing this little broadcast with others. Continue to follow Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week ahead by God's grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.